let me know when to start. You can start whenever you're ready. Okay, okay I'm ready. So everybody is sitting on the chair and uh, get ready. We are going to start, first of all, uh, I'm going to thank our Guruji. Om everybody. First of all, a very, very big thank you to Guruji, uh, our uh, Sarvanji, uh, our uh, Sam, Samji. So who has given me this opportunity to perform chair yoga on this platform? And also I must thank uh, Money Band, Money Mystery, uh, and I must thank you all. So for joining, thank you. So now we are going to sit in a Gyan Mudra. We always start our prayers. Push yourself, uh, your shoulders at the back. People who are sitting on the chair, sit back because this is uh, our chair yoga and uh, we must sit on the chair. It is not Seti Yoga, Chair Yoga. So you will feel the difference sitting on the Seti and sitting on the chair. Everybody has got a dining table, chair, so sit on that. It will make a lot of difference. So Gyan Mudra. So Gyan Mudra, it improves our concentration, which we all want before we start our asanas and pranayam. So it concentration and it increases the power. The brain now become very strong. So we don't see any other uh, uh, other things or our mind wavering this way. So Gyan Mudra press, back straight, push your shoulders back and we get connected to the Lord. It is our journey to purify our mind, body, and soul. Our physical body to be cleared, which is filled up with lots and lots of impurities. So now we are going to meditate. Light a little jot on your forehead. Stretch us up here, which is called Agya Chakra. Yes, which is called our Brow Chakra. We are going to light a little candle, meditate on the jyot. Feel the purity of the jyot. Feel the brightness of the jyot. Feel the warmth of the jyot. So maximize your happiness and your health. Maximize your immunity system and cut down all the stress, anxiety, and depression and learn the powerful breathing. Fill up your body with positive energy so you can see all day positiveness with your eyes. You can hear positively, you can talk positively, you can spread the love positively. So deep breathe and we are going to chant three times our positive mantra, our powerful mantra, our universal mantra of Om. So when you're chanting Om mantra, fill up your body with po positive energy and oxygen. So we are going to touch all the seven chakras. And when you um, exhale, come down. So it is reversed. So you start from the Mulban. So deep breathe. Oh, 80% O and 20% Ma. to the mother earth, 
bow to the sun salutation and a very, very good morning. I bow to you, all of you who have joined today. Thank you very much. And today we are going to do some exercise uh, for our planter because these days we have got a lot of complaints that people are getting pain over here. This is called planter. And we will emphasize few exercise which you can do, easy exercise to follow. So it is this part, the hollow part. Yes, the hollow part, we are going to do some exercise. But before we do that, uh, I would also tell you to grab the towel. Uh, grab the towel if it's close by or and grab that chopping board of yours if you have. Otherwise, you can watch. But if you do it with me, you will be able to uh, feel what is going on in your body, how you are bending your planter, how you are uh, using your heels, because these days, a lot of blockages in this part. So we are going to cover from here. Yes, from here to here, all this part, we are going to cover with our exercise. So we are going to start. People who want to stand, please feel free. People who want to uh, sit, uh, we, well, we are going to sit and do the exercise. So first of all, we are going to relax a bit our muscles because after relaxing the muscles, we can do, um, so grab the chair, grab the chair and, we are going to start so you can see what we are doing for the field. So deep breathe. First of all, just loosen our heels. So we'll just do to start with the walk. So deep breathe. So inhale, inhale up, but the knee should go right at the back. Grab the chair, grab the chair. It should go right back and out. So up and down so on the toes at the back and straighten up here so one two one two breathe in now breathe out breathe in breathe out yes but push it right at the back hold the chair one two three four five six inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Now, sit back again, change your leg. So breathe in, open, open, stretch as much as you can, and down. One, two. So by doing this, it helps your knees, and upwards, and down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we relax. Now we are going to relax, loosen all the muscles for our body. So we are going to do 12 poses. Once all the blockages comes off from your system, then we can do asanas and pranayam very well. So we are going to Start doing our chair, Surya Namaskar. Those who want to stand, you, they can stand. But Surya Namaskar on the chair, which will relax all the muscles, which will open up all your nas nadis for more oxygen. So we can sit like that. Can everybody see me properly? Because it is very, very important. You can see the feet, the moment of our feet. I'll explain you first. Sit in the middle, sit in the middle, straight, straight. Hands in this position. So longer breath, let us get connected to the Lord. So deep breathe, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, look at the shape of my body. It should be like that and going back. So this is relaxing all the seven chakras up to your thyroid gland. 
And as you go back, tilt your head. So it helps your thyroid and your parathyroid and your sarhasa chakra, which is getting all the oxygen and fresh blood circulation to your sarhasa chakra, your crown chakra. So up. All the poses, you have to stay like this at least for a few seconds, four to five seconds. And as you come down, you gently relax, exhale. Exhale, hold your toes. It will relax your whole spine, your hips, and your neck, and your head, your crown chakra. So exhale. Then you come back again. As you are coming back, you should bring your right leg up along with you. Yes, up here, like that. So this, you press it like Pavan Muktasan. Deep breathe. And you go up again, exhaling all the acidity, acid from your stomach. People have got a lot of problems for acidity problems. So quick relief for acidity. Quick relief from Pavan Muktasan and down and leg down. And then again, deep breathe. Meditate on your seven chakras, front and back. And as you come up, you bring the left leg up and exhale and down and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out and we relax. Now we are going to do 12 poses. So, posture, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So this is our twelve posture, which has relaxed your whole body. And now we are going to start our main exercise, stretches exercise. So stretches exercise is very, very good. Every day stretches should be done first. Why? It opens up all your nas nadis. It opens up all the blockages. So when you do your asnas, when you do your bastrika pranayam, it really helps you straight away. So very easy, Swamiji has done such a good package that it's easy to follow. So once it's easy, it makes you do. And when you do, immediate effect is there in your body. So we are going to start now. So deep breathe, and we are going to start upper part, which represents from here upwards, toes. Toes and your lungs up to here, your lungs. So that represents your ears, eyes, your face, everything. So deep breathe. So breathe in, toes, and down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you go up for the heels. Heels represents from your Manipur chakra downwards. So your stomach, your Swadishtan chakra, your Mulband. So all the toxins releases from your Mulband. So activate your Muladhar chakra. So you're going to one, two. What you've got to bang it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Change your leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have done front and back. Now we come to the middle part, which is called plantar. A lot of people have problems here. All this, all this, uh, all this middle part. Yes, we have, uh, that. there is a blockage. That means there is a blockage. That is why you get 
a lot of water retention and a uh, lot of pain. So we are going to deal from here, here to here. So we remove all the blockages. Before we start, we just, just put the feet on the mat and you are just going to bend the toe only. Other fingers are going to be like that. So toes, toes, like that. So deep breathe and breathe out, okay. So deep breathe, just the toe. One, two, one, two, one. Can you see on the mat? Let me come on the mat and you'll be able to see. Just the toe, big toe. Bring it backwards and front, backwards and front. And your fingers, your hands in mudra, always in any mudra which you remember. And the other foot straight. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and stop. So now we are going to put our five elements on our knee because we are doing left side. So again, toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, you can see properly. Why did we do mudra in right and five elements over here? I explained. So mudra, because we are doing it first time and we are pulling the toe in, so we want a concentration. How, how am I going to do that? Let me have my concentration power, but with the powerful mudra. So we did Gyan Mudra. And second time, we did it with our palms, our five elements on the knees, because our five elements needs to go in the feet, right at the bottom. So we press that and out. Press Can you show it again, please? Because I've missed some of it. Can you show it again? I will show. Yes, okay. So first of all, you understood what I'm, we are doing. So Gyan Mudra, right leg. So you just, your toe, your toe should go like that, only one. You keep your, your fingers are like that, but you go with the toe like that. Only your toe, bending your toe in. See, other fingers are, so can you see? You have to bend only toe. When you bend the planter, this part will go in. So you will feel. If you still don't understand, uh, ask me. So first of all, we sit. Gyan Mudra, right leg. Now take your toe inwards. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now change. Five elements has to go into your knees and the lower leg. So change. So left leg, same exercise for the toe. Breathe in, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. So when your toe is out, you breathe. And you gently take it back. Hold, out. Inhale. Exhale back. Hold and down. So did you get it? Did you all get it? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Still our fingers is bending there also. You know? Only toe. Yes. Other toes only. are bending as well. But it is not easy to do only one toe, big toe. No. Yeah, that is why we said Gyan Mudra. So it increases the concentration power and it makes you think what you are doing, what you are learning. It is very, very important. Even if you do five to eight times, you will feel the difference in your feet. A lot of people uh, have pain in their heels. Why? Because there is a blockage in the planter. People feel very uh, uh, they're on, on, yeah, on their toes. All the toes are hurting all the time because there is a blockage in the middle, planter. So we are concentrating on this part. 
only. So now, few times, we just go back to release that, you know, you have done this exercise, so release the toxins. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It also releases the blockages from the back. So deep breathe, deep breath out. Now you are going to go breathe up, up like that. And on the heel, stretch. Breathe in, hold the chair, grab the chair, and you go front, completely front. Your, your leg, right leg is in front and out and back. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, flat, flat. Heel, flat. Inhale. The knee should be straight. Flat. Your knee should be straight. Then only you will feel the stretch, yeah? Hold the, grab the chair so you don't fall. You have full support uh, of your body, rest of the body. So deep breathe. Heel, and flat. Heel should be straight. Uh, knee should be straight. So as soon as you put it down, it is going to stretch from here to here and rest and now change your leg deep breathe pull it towards you and flat breathe in breathe out three four don't bend your knees five six don't forget to breathe in and breathe out inhale exhale inhale Exhale, Nina, pagalo gai, breathing thoda bun jate hai, breathing karna. Inhale, exhale. Nina, auntie, can you show us the side view? How can you not bend your knee? Side? Like yeah, that? Please, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so what we do is, yes, that's good, good idea. So you go up. So this is going to stretch completely. Hold the chair. If you have to come in front, you come. If you have to sit at the back, but the whole idea is the heel should be dug on the mat. So deep breathe towards you. Bring it as much as you can. Listen to your body. If you can't, don't, because initially you might not be able to, but this is very good. Everybody can do it. So you will have a pull this way, this side, this part. When you pull it, towards you your fingers towards you and then down can you see it properly pull. yeah i can't seem to uh, keep my knee straight when you put your foot flat down okay what i'm saying is listen to your body don't force because this is going to pull that much not your knees but over here so slowly slowly few times a day you do it and don't overdo so breathe in Mm. It's going to help your hamstring. See the pull in your hamstring. Yeah. What is the work of your hamstring? It supplies blood and oxygen and out. Breathe in, breathe out. But it has to be a curve. Curve. Can you see the curve here? Yes. Yeah. Because you put the toe back inwards and out. Inward and out. So one and two. Straight and bend. Straight and bend. Did you get it? Yes, thank you. Yes, it is one of the best exercise for your legs. So once the tension is working, all the blockages have come out. So you get the all the water retention, your pain in your heels, and mainly you get, when the planter is blocked, you get a pain upper part over here, just by the little toe. Can you see it properly? Yes, thank or you. Or I come a little bit closer for you to see? Is this any better? I think we are concentrating. So you go like that. Okay, can you yeah. see it properly? Yes. yes, thank you. Good. 
that way once the blockage comes off and all this part from your uh, uh, feet all the water retention will go and you won't have the pain in your heel a lot of people get pain in their ankle a lot of yes people, i do yeah a lot of people get pain over here in this part over here to here yes so we got to um uh, be careful what we are doing let me get rid of that so i can come in and out to show you so this is what we do so now you bring your right leg up over here and you are going to hold with your left leg your ankle and here and you are going to pull your toe your big toe if you want your hands to be here your five elements in that curve put it but you are going to pull so one two three outwards four five six only the toe seven eight nine and ten so that is going to pull the main vein from your plantar it is going to help this part see the plantar is here but the pain will be over here opposite side so now take your left leg and deep breathe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now because we all are gujarati let me explain those who can understand it is pulling a straight or pulling in the side the toe no pulling it up outside pulling up Out. yeah straight yeah yeah okay hold it here hold it here your thumb in the plantar and your toe should be out one two three four if you bring it in front you'll feel tired so you have to take it out i'm just showing so sideways it's good see like that okay so this is your plantar so now what happens is when you have got a, a problem in your navel apne kahiye ne pechoti padi gayi che to e pechoti kaade gana only certain people can remove that pechoti your solar chakra has to be really nice and strong so the solar chakra to get uh, activated your solar chakra the blockage is out apne gana ne pechoti padi hoy stomach ma to ketlu dukhe vomiting thai you you vomit you feel dizzy so a lot of people knows how to take that block so first of all they would do this exercise this stretches if you if you remember or you have heard or you have gone through that i myself have gone there so they would pull the thumb only they will hold it and they will pull the thumb so this will make your uh, manipur chakra the uh, the uh, it is connected to your manipur chakra so it will activate start activating and the pain in your plantar will go so you'll be able to do like that quickly so you must start doing that so again let us uh, remove all the blockages from and the veins and numbness over so did you get all these three exercise properly stretches if you still haven't understood uh, you must uh, uh, stop and ask doesn't matter we'll go a bit slowly but we must learn the right method so we just sit and just get rid of blockages so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we got rid of all the toxins so now we are going to stand up now and we are going to do the same different way of doing so i will just come closer so you'll be able to see grab the chair now you are going to bring your let's say right leg in front and the left at the back but you are going to bend bend 
Now, many times we do this exercise. Everybody says they know. But what they do is just watch. Bend and your heel is up. No, we don't want the left leg coming up on your toe when you are bending, not like that. What we are going to do is you bend, you bend your right leg, left leg. Gently, you will feel a stretch over here, just below your hamstring, over here, over here. So that's why, don't come up. So deep breathe, only bending your right leg and left has to be flat at the back. So you are going to get a good stretch. Hold it. Look at the stretch. Look at the little pain. And you come up. I know even, even the older people can do this. So there is no excuse. So gently bending only the right foot, which is in front bend. Left foot is straight and out. Let us change. So deep breathe. Come in this dimension, V shape. And deep breathe, bend, bend your left. Stretching your right leg straight on the mat. Hold, exhale, deep breathe. Gently going into front, front, and out. Now I'm going to show you the variation of the bending your leg uh, at the back, your feet at the back. So go back, right, and then breathe in, and you are going to lift up that. And out. Breathe in, lift up. So what is happening? Only this stretch is over here, second time, because you are lifting and you are pressing the right leg and down. So deep breathe, up. My right leg straight, my left leg bending and the planter coming up. So my left leg is on the toes and down. Now you can see the two different exercises for two different parts. It looks similar exercise, but just by bending that or flattening, they are completely different. Different stretch in your different part from here to here. So now I want to feel it. So deep breathe. You are not bending your leg, not bending this knee, but you are going on the toes with your left leg. And down. One more time. Up. And down. One more time. Up. And down. Up. And down. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to do Kapalbhati, along with stretching your plantar up. So deep breathe. Come back. Right leg always up. Not bending the knee, but you are going on your toes, up. And grab the chair, Kapalbhati, five times. And down. So that is going to release all the toxins, whatever exercise we have done so far. So deep breathe, out. And you come back again, and toes. Can everybody see the flat toe? and? and relax, and deep breathe, go up, down, up, down, inhale, exhale, both together on the toes, hold, grab the chair, exhale, inhale, up, down, breathing up, breathe out, inhale, exhale, so these were the few, there are lots which we is going to help you, but because it is first time and we got to learn what we are doing and it is going to help you from here to here. Is everybody clear so far? Okay, so now we are going to continue our stretches uh, for the 
um, for our legs and we are going to go gently upwards, upwards. So deep breathe, deep breath out. And now we will start. We have done over this five elements on your knees and you are going to gently out. Put you, you know, people who are sitting on the mat, they can do a uh, butterfly, butterfly, like that, butterfly. So, and those who are sitting on the chair, they can do this. So together, breathe in, inhale, 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 out. You keep on doing, but you got to listen. What is happening? It is strengthening our muscles inside. It is helping our muladhar chakra. It is helping our uterus. It is helping our groins around the It is helping our muscles and tightening the muscles over here. And our, it is making our pelvic muscles stronger. Hold it. Hold it because five elements are going in. And where are you going to do? What are you going to do? On your toes. On your toes. And coming down flat. So as you are going wider, start coming up on your toes and up. Tell me, is it too much to follow? It is easy because I'm, I'm taking it gently easy to follow. But still, yes. if you... It's easy, it's easy. It's, yeah, we are following. Yeah, if you're doing it perfect. Good. Perfect. Oh, but the clever choker you <laughs> <laughs> and down heels down flat and you come up on your toes it will strengthen your pelvic muscle three four five six seven eight People who have got haranya, they should do this. It is very, very good, but they should sit on the chair, not down, because obviously men get this haranya problem quite often. So they are not comfortable sitting on the mat. They should sit on the chair and do it. So now we are going to do a little bit of tapping on our legs, our thighs only. So we are going to start. So tapping massage is very, very good to open up the blockages. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And good. Change. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So nice little massage. All the blockages have come up from your thighs, from your inner thighs and relax. Now we are going to come up our main part, which is our stomach. But as we are going to do the stretches, we are going to do Kapalbhati as well to release the toxins. So deep breathe, interlock your hands, interlock. And longer breath in, feet straight on the mat. And you're going to straighten up. Now this is for people, oh, your hand should be up. It should not come down till I tell you. You got to listen. This is for our intestine, our larger intestine and smaller intestine. It is also helping our lower back. And you exhale. You inhale, stretching up again. So people who are suffering from digestion problem, people who are suffering from constipation should do this all the time. And you exhale. So you inhale again. As you go up, you are raising yourself, so it helps to 
strengthen your spine, your lower spine, your thyroid spine, your um, uh, uh, upper spine. So where you have got all the pain, so it releases all the toxin from your spine. So one more. Inhale, 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 feet straight, arms straight. So it takes off all the toxins out. It also helps your lymphatic gland when your hands are straight up. And gently you come down. The gentle you do, the more benefit you get. So inhale up. Closer to your ears, and you go right side, relaxing all the muscles, your atara, upper side openings, your side lungs, open ribs, and up. Inhale, 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 and down. At the same time, your feet should be right flat on the mat, and down and you relax. Now you're going to grab the chair again, and you're going to sit back again. We are going to give a little twist in our stomach. That twist in our stomach. So breathe in, and you go right. You are not going to turn like that afterwards. So you breathe, and now gently, your head should rest on your right shoulder, and you turn. And come up. So this helps you, all the muscles in your stomach. It releases all the blockages in your stomach. And it all helps your the middle part of your spine and out. So one, two, one, two, one. As you twist, it, as you giving twist, you keep on doing it. As you are giving a twist in your stomach, it helps your kundalini shakti. It strengthens your kundalini shakti and helping your neck as well, helping your shoulders. So deep breathe and you breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale and down. So we have covered all this part and along with the shoulders. So now, Relax your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your fingers, which we don't get arthritis. So open, open your fingers like that. And then you go like that. Damaru, damaru. So deep breathe, deep breath out. Deep breathe. It also helps your solar chakra, your, um, yes. So solar flux. You remember your solar flux like that? Nabi chakra ne activate karwanu, which we did. So deep breathe, deep breath out. Deep breathe, deep breath out. Shoulder relax. One, two, three, and front. One, two, three, and relax. Now we are going to go for our chest, our lungs. So we are going to go in our Adi Mudra. Adi Mudra. So when you have done your Adi Mudra. This is the only Mudra when we are born. We learned this. We have learned this when we were in our mom's womb. So we have learned this and we are born. So Adi Mudra has got a meaning. When you press it, it presses all the organs, your liver, your pancreas, your kidneys, it presses. Yeah? And press with the heat. So press and when you go out, you open. And you come back, you do that. So deep breathe. We are concentrating on our lung. So breathe in, open. And you close. Two. Three. Bend a little bit. Lungs. Open your wide, open your lung. So when we do Bastrika Pranayam, your lungs become very strong. So you don't suffer from any blockages in your lungs. Your breathing is clear. No bronchitis. Out. And 
then one more time out and relax relax now we are going to go for our neck so neck and shoulder is connected together so right hand but gently you are going to press it completely with five elements to your hand so deep breathe other hand on your knee and go right down listen to your body again when you have got a pain in your neck, pain in your shoulder, because it is connected, not just the neck, you also have a blockage here. So remove that blockage. Sometimes we have a wrong pillow. Sometimes it's a wrong position for the whole night and you get a pain in the neck. And deep breathe and you, you are going to sit straight, but you are only pushing your neck and out one more time breathe in press towards your left side and you exhale inhale press towards your right side and you exhale and relax relax now open your eyes keep your eyes open but you are going to widen your feet hands on your Knees, but you are going to go right down, 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 till your body allows. If your body allows to go this much, you go only this much, just looking on the mat down, floor. And as you come up, raise your head. So inhale. One. Two, eyes open, keep your eyes open. I don't want anybody to feel dizzy. And down, and relax, relax. Now we are going to do Bastrika Pranayam. So Bastrika Pranayam is for your lungs. So let us start our asanas and pranayam. We have done all the stretches, blockages have come up. So deep breathe. Again, we are going to sit in Gyan Mudra. The concentration power strengthen our brain nerves and deep breathe, feet straight. So Mother Earth will give you energy coming up. Yes, so while we are breathing in and out, you can chant Om Mantra, two and a half seconds you breathe in, two and a half seconds you breathe out. Beep, there is a health warning. People who have got heart problem, just had a lot of heart problems, they should do very gently. If it's recent problem, don't do it for three months. People who have got high blood pressure, they should do it gently. People who have got just cataract operation and don't take inhale too much, just a shallow inhale and shallow exhale. Just recent cataract operation. See? So we are going to strengthen our way, our nas nani gently, not too fast. So longer breath in, longer breath out. We are going to continue completely with the full benefit because you all have done such a lovely stretches for your feet and rest of the body. Listen to the bhajan with the swas we are doing the Yanudra. Thank you. 
Now we are going to change the mudra, Apan Vayu Mudra, the only two mudras together. So you're going to go down and to just like that. This is called Apan Vayu Mudra, which makes your body healthy. If you have a problem breathing. Vishram. So now we are going to share our Bastrika Pranayam. We are very fortunate, we are very lucky. God has given us the strength to breathe. Yes, to fill up our lungs, make our lungs stronger. So we are going to share that Bastrika which we have done to people who are in the hospital at the moment, people who are suffering because their lungs are not functioning right. So we are going to share our Bastrika. So deep breathe. That, that donation, that sharing should come from inner of your heart. So from your lungs, meditate your lungs. On your lungs and deep breathe. Oh. And now we are going to do some exercise for our fingers. If you have stronger fingers, if you have got no blockages in your finger, then only you are going to perform your different mudras because our Sarvanji had taken one class for mudras, which were very, very good. So that mudras you can only perform when you have got your fingers stronger. Yes? So take all the blockages from the fingers and we can forget a lot of time. Why we have a lot of pain in here? There are a lot of good reasons because first of all, we are repeatingly our stress. We are repeating the stress. So that gives the swelling, that gives the numbness, that gives the arthritis. Yes, so because arthritis is blockage, blockage. And if you go to the doctor any age, first of all, you've got arthritis. That's it, you've got to live with it. So that's what they are going to say. Yes, we live with that, but you also have to move. There should be a moment in your fingers. Get rid of all the blockages. So it is the repeating uh, stress which gives the swelling over here, all the way swelling, and it comes over here, the swelling. So you can't bend, wrist swelling, finger swelling, 
or overused, overused writing, overused using computers. It causes the long time not giving rest. All the time your fingers, your arms are moving, you are not resting at all. So that gives the swelling in your finger. And mainly where the swelling starts from, you don't realize, but it is in the middle over here. Yes, which is called a nerve, that is a nerve shrinking, a nerve which is called a melodian nerve where we have a carpal tunnel over here, the pain over here for carpal tunnel. The main nerve is called melodian nerve and it is shrinking. It is, there is a lot of blockages and it starts hurting the pain here and the pain travels up here all the way. So that is where we have to do a lot of exercise for carpal tunnel. So hands together. And, and deep breathe as you are going, uh, close it, close your hands tighter and breathe in and push, push. So you can see the push over here, push over here and push over here. And the uh, elbow straight and relax. Deep breathe, straighten your elbows as you are pressing, hold for a few seconds and out. Breathe in. Hold and out. The second exercise is you hold it like that. Yeah. And you close. And the right thumb over here and the left thumb is uh, up. So deep breathe. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Once you put your right thumb, one left. If you forget, don't worry. You can keep both the thumbs open. So deep breathe, one, two. So one, out, then two, out, one, two, one, two. Press it, out, press it, out, press it, out. Now we are going to do pran mudra for the fingers. Any blockages from your uh, uh, fingers. So you take the water. You remember what it represents each finger? Yes, you do. You're clever girls. So breathe in, little finger and your ring finger. And these two fingers will be out like that. So this is called pran mudra, which is going to give pran to your fingers. So one, two, Three, both the arms you can do. If you can't perform both together, you can do one at a time. So breathe in, breathe out. Two fingers up and one, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. So one, it is tricky because your fingers will be like that. It won't be together. But don't worry because we are just pulling this vein up here. Yes, so deep breathe and out. Deep breathe and out. Deep breathe and out. Deep breathe and out. Now change. Now take your right hand holding your left. So you are going to go right like that. Breathe in, breathe out. Like a planter. We remember the planter we went right like that. That is what we are going to do it for hand. So one, two, three, four, five. Change. One, two. Three, four, five. Now again, we are going to do a very, very good mudra. What we are going to do is the two middle finger. Yes, the space and earth, you know that. So two, one and two over here. One and two. So these two fingers, little finger and your air is going to be up. So you are going to breathe in and out. In and out. In and out, in and out. What is this mudra called? Apan mudra. So breathe in, breathe out. See, when you breathe in, it is pulling inward. And when you go out, it is opening everything here, all the blockages in your palms. So deep breathe, breathe out. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, and that we are going to relax here. So now we are going to do some exercise for our eyes. Eyes are also very, very important because all the uh, shoulders, and we can sit back on the mat, on the chair. So deep breathe. Hands again, feet apart. So you have got a full support of uh, Mother Earth pushing the uh, positive energy uh, into your body. So deep breathe. Next straight. Next straight. Now you are going to go breathe in. You are going to look at the clock. 12. Where is 12? Up. 12. And then gently not moving your head. You come up to number three. So 12, three, six, nine, 12, three, six, nine, 12, three, six, nine. Now you're going to reverse. So 12, nine, six, three, 12, nine, six, three, 12, nine, six, three. Now we are going to deep breathe again and we are going to go a little bit faster. So what we are going to do is up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, left, down, right, up, left, right, uh, down, right, up, Le uh, up, up, left, right, uh, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, right, down, and relax. Le give a little massage with your nice elements, five elements, deep breathe and out, deep outwards. Let all the toxins get removed from your eyes and down. And now we are going to do Kapal Bhati. Kapal Bhati will remove all the toxins from your stomach. But which Gujra we are going to sit for Kapal Bhati, we are going to sit in uh, Vayu Mudra, which you take right at the bottom, right at the bottom. This is called Vayu Mudra. So it stretches your melodion now which is going to take off all the blockages and we are going to do it with the bhajan. So deep breathe, deep breath out. Kapal Bhati relates your vayu problem. People who are suffering from arthritis, gout, joint pains, people who have got sciatica, people who have got knee pain, people who have got gas form. And you see how nice this Kapal Bhati is. Listen to the button. <coughs> one second, one stroke out. People who have just had an operation or back which is hurting severely should do it gently, slowly. <laughs> okay, can you lean back and do it? Can you lean your back? Sorry? Can you, can you lean back and do it? Yeah, completely back, straight. Because so if you move back, back on supporting. Not sitting here. Sit back. So your back will be straight. Push your shoulders back. Puri 
Full exercise for your stomach organs, liver, pancreas, uh, intestine, kidneys. And we relax. Now we have got all the toxins out from our stomach. So again, we come to the plantar exercise to remove the remaining toxins. So I bring it a little bit closer. Doesn't matter if you can't see my face, but uh, you take the chopping board or any flat material and a piece of towel, which you put it on there. You are going to sit on here. Now with the right foot, again, we are concentrating on the toe. When you do it with the toe, because the toes will pull your uh, planter uh, up. So planter will be pulled. See, if you use your toe only, you are using your toe. So what you are going to do is, you are going to bring this here, and put your heel, dig your heel and the other foot uh, uh, at the back and you slowly bring your towel like that. One, two, three, four, five, only with the toe, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Did you all get it? Who hasn't got it? So now we are going to go back, pulling the towel right at the back. So one, two, three, four, five, round six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only with the toe. Now change. So up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. Who was doing with me? I could see it. Now, can you see, can you feel the difference in your feet? You will, definitely, because it, the action is there straight away. It really helps your planters by just doing that. Even if you are sitting, watching TV, just go like that with the towel. So up, up and then going reverse, reverse, reverse. Take the towel, take the towel, only with the toe, only with the toe. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. As you are doing, it will help this part and the upper and lower of your middle curve. Yes, top and bottom. So that was our, that even when you are watching TV, just do that. You can do that only with the toe. With the toe, when you do it, it helps you a lot. When you do with all the uh, uh, feet, uh, fingers, it is different. So now we are going to do, we have done Kapalpati. So everybody push yourself back. Again, you are going to sit back and we are going to do Manduka Asan. So take your hands, sit on the chair, Manipur Chakra, Deep breathe, deep breath out, and gently you are going down, 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 down. And your head up, and we are going to do four times Kapal Bhakti. So one, two, three, four, and you come up. Why, what is Mandukasan doing? It is for your stomach. 
people who are suffering from sugar, your diabetes, people who are suffering from heart problems. So they should be doing Manduka Asan more. Either they can sit down and or you can sit on the chair. So deep breath, longer breath in, longer breath out, let the breath out. Pull your stomach, press it. And you come down, 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 pressing it harder, harder, harder. If you are doing right way, you'll be able to hear the uh, your uh, Manipur chakra throbbing. And one, two, three, four, and you come up. Now one more time, deep breathe. Breathe out. Put your stomach in. Let this air stay out. Breathe out. Press it. Come down gently, gently, gently. Head a little bit up. And again, Kapalbhati. And up. Now we are going to give hot and cold compress to our Manipur Chakra, right? Left on top. Deep breathe, same paddhati, same timing, same method. So do not rush. So deep breathe, deep breath out. Pull your stomach in, press it, going down, down, down. Gently again, head up. This time you are going to do four times pastrika pranayam. So inhale, pastrika, filling up your lungs, yes? So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and you come up. Change, deep breath in, deep breath out, pull your stomach in, press it, press it hard, hard, hard. One, two, three, four, and we relax. This was for our Manipur Chakra. And now bring your arms straight, breathe. Inhale, going back again, stretching your chakras. You remember which we did for our chair yoga. And stretching all the chakras, removing all the blockages and right down, looking through the chair right at the bottom so your sahasa chakra is getting activated your back all the toxins are coming and out so one more time inhale inhale you come halfway and start exhaling exhale 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 and down stay in this position for a few seconds and gently coming up again, inhaling. Yes. And you exhale the toxins out. And we relax. We relax. Now we are going to do Anulong Vilom. Anulong Vilom is to open up all the blockages from our arteries, all the blockages from our body, all the blockages from our face muscles, Ida Nadi, Pingra Nadi, and we open up the channel in the middle. So everyone start, you all know this, so alternative nostril breathing.
Don't think of yesterday, it will make you cry. Don't think of tomorrow, it will give you fears. Just think of today, live for today. Ida Nari, Pingra Nari, Susumra Nari, open. And we are going to relax here. Oh, we are just done for a minute. And now we are going to do our Brahmi. Brahmi is to activate our Brahma Chakra. Our Brahma Chakra, which is right in the middle. Yes, Brahma Chakra, which has got 84 meridian points over here, which releases this 84 pranic meridian points. It is reducing when you hum like a bee, it, uh, it is capable of curing 203 illnesses. Yes, solar chakra, uh, 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 your sarhasa chakra. So everybody breathe in three times. Uh, Feel the vibration of Om, powerful mantra, with your open lips, deep breath. Oh. 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 Just concentrate on your slow breathing. Do not alter your breath while you are breathing in and out. Think that you are taking all the positive energy of the universe. And pray to the Lord. Whatever asanas, tanayam have done so far should benefit my whole body. Gently raise your hands up and, and put it on your eyes so all the positive goes into your body. And now we come to nearly the end of our session, but we have done a lot of asanas, pranayam, stretches, so we must always do sarvasan. Sarvasan is must to relax your body, to get the full benefit of that one and a half hour which you have done in your body. So back, feet straight, back straight, shoulders back. Deep breathe, light a little candle on your forehead, meditate on that jyot, bring that jyot gently right down to your feet, relaxing your feet, relax your ankles, Relax your calf muscles, relax your knees, relax your thighs and your inner thighs. Relax your... Relax your inner thighs. Relax your stomach and all the organs. Relax your back. Coming right up, spine, relax your, coming down, 
relaxing your heart, relaxing your arms, relaxing your wrist and all the fingers of your hands. Now, relax your shoulders again and get rid of all the toxins out, all the tension out from your shoulders. Relaxing your neck, your thyroid gland. Relax your face muscles. Relax your ears. Relax your mouth, your teeth and tongue, your jaws. Relax your eyes. Relax your brow chakra. And relaxing your sarhasa chakra. So your whole body is completely loose, relaxed, no aches and pains. We must always thank our Guruji, Baba Ramdenji, who has showed us a very, very good path for our healthy body. So deep breathe, hands above, and relax. Relax, give the positive energy to your thyroid gland, to your parathyroid, your shoulders, your heart, your lungs, your stomach, your thighs, your knees, your Cuff muscles, enters, and fingers. So whole positive energy is going into your body. So now we are going to do the prayers. We always do the prayers after our class. So deep breathe. Eyes closed. We all, you can repeat after me. Don't open your uh, microphone so you can say. So deep breathe, breathe out. May all be healthy. May all be happy. May all enjoy prosperity. May none suffer. May none suffer. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. So we must be always be healthy first. Yes, to be happy. If you are ill all the time, you are not happy because you are in pain. So do a lot of exercise, join everyday classes to become healthy. Then you become happy. Then you enjoy what you have earned for the rest of your life, earlier life, you work so hard, so you want to uh, enjoy your prosperity, your nice house, your big car, your grandchildren. So you want to enjoy all that prosperity. And then we don't want anybody to suffer. So whatever we are getting, other people should get. So you teach, you do your seva by teaching, asanas, uh, your yoga asanas and pranayam. So deep breathe. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And now after that, we are going to have our medicine. So our medicine is really good because we call our laughter medicine, which is the best medicine. When you laugh, it takes off all the stress from your body. When you laugh, it strengthens your immunity system. Anti-aging, we all like to be young, looking young, so keep on smiling, laughing all the time, so you will not show your age. Anti-aging, and we do aerobic exercise when you laugh internal. <laughs> so it is aerobic exercise in our 
internal. So uh, in the natural painkiller, we don't want to run for the um, a paracetamol or things like that, just love. So your depression, anxiety will go. So let me tell you a little joke, but uh, shall I tell in Gujarati or Hindi? Arriba. In both, both Gujarati and Hindi, so the people can understand. Okay, <laughs> okay. So you know, shadi ke abhi teen mahi nahi hue the ek bai ki ladki ke ladki ko jo uncle the uski ladki ko abhi teen mahi nahi hue the shadi ke to uske sasur ne wo jamai ke sasur ne phone lagaya aur jamai raj ko bola hello jamai raj jamai raj. तो जमाई राज तो डर गए कभी ससुर तो फोन आता है तो जमाई तो बड़े डर डर जाते हैं कि अभी क्या बात थे तो उसने कहा सुनते हो ससुर जमाई राज सुनते हो तो जमाई ने कहा हां हां सुनता हूं क्या बात है बोलता है मैं तेरे से बहुत नाराज हूं बहुत गुस्सा है आपसे क्योंकि आपने मुझे बताया नहीं कि आपको हर रोज रात को दारू पीने की आदत है आप हर रोज दारू पी के सोते हैं आपने मुझे बताया क्यों नहीं अभी तीन महीने हो गए मेरी लड़की की शादी के आपके साथ हो हुए हुए तो जमाई ने बहुत शांति से जवाब दिया ससुर जी ससुर जी मैं पीता हूं तो क्या हुआ इसमें मेरी आदत है आपने बताया क्यों नहीं मुझे शादी से पहले तो ससुर जी बोले सुनो ससुर जी जमाई बोले सुनो ससुर जी आपने तो नहीं बताया था कि आपकी बेटी को हर रोज मेरा लहो पीने का पीने की आदत है योर डॉटर सक्स ब्लड योर डॉटर ड्रिंक्स ब्लड सो यू नेवर टोल्ड मी दैट आपकी बेटी को लहो पीने का ब्लड पीने की आदत है मारो लोय पी जाए छे તમે <laughs> 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 so wonderful so yeah. we normally jack you the food that was really really wonderful because really, if you don't really have food you don't enjoy anything yes really. so that was great let's take it one one at a time please yeah yeah what i thought was because we know we do all the time lot of exercise with our feet but we forget that middle part the plinth we forget that and that is where all the blockages are over here over here sorry this mark doesn't go yesterday i was showing the pressure points over here so um this this part a curve curve when it gets blocked all this part hurts and there is lot of water retention when this is blocked you get hurt over here opposite side so i do it exercise uh for our planter so that's why we did that anybody else hope uh, uh you uh, you know properly how to do it if you don't you can still ask and we can repeat you, it could you please show it again how to move the single thumb you know the you know for to 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 single to yes please sorry so that to the big toe you said how to move it i'm trying i can't do it so please help us i will i will show you see the toe i'll come closer can you see my toe yes i can see i can see so, so what you do is just move just uh, just move like that only with the toe so you will feel the can you hear me then can go on the toe and then you move inward take the toe only inside so there will be a bridge a bridge uh, if you take only the toe in and out out in and out in and out 
like that. So in and out, in and out, in. See that stretch over here and out. So is it clear now? Yeah, yes, it's clear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, you need a lot of practice because we done it the first yeah, time. Yeah. Our yeah. is very good. You just take the toe like that. Only with the toe. Yeah? Heel stop and toe. Out, out, and out, out, out. So very, very good exercise for your... And friend. then inwards as well. Out, 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 and then inwards as well. Yeah. Yes, yes, same. Yeah, you do it. Yeah, you do out and then you bring, bring it back it. again. Yeah, yeah. Up, bring it back. Bring it together. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah, anything yeah. else? Yeah. yeah. No, it does does that help your ankle as well? The ankle yeah. near your heel? Yes, because Pain you in know, when the blockage over here is gone, the swelling will go down. It will help your ankle, all the swelling here. It also helps the heel at some percentage, not all, some percentage, because we have to do the heel exercise differently. And then it is, today it was just this, yeah? So that's what it is. We have covered uh, the whole uh, area. So anybody else? I missed the first, first bit. I was a bit late, so I thought I might have missed it. Thank uh, you. I think uh, Money Ben has uh, 